hello guys welcome to in this video tutorial so in this video tutorial I'm going to show you the how to create our expansion panel inside the angular so let's get started so here we have to create a new component the component name that I am going to putting it expansion panel so instead of that I'm going to create two file the TS file and the HTML file and the component decorator so that angular can understand so this is the component and the selector of that component is expansion panel and the template URL is component dot html the html file <coughs> name and add this component inside the respective module file and inside this uh, component uh, we are going to using the animation so using that animation we can collapse or expand the expansion panel the animation name that is expand and inside of that we are going to adding the two state the first state is open and the another one state is the close so inside of that uh, if the expansion panel is open so in that case I'm going to put in the height of it at all and the opacity is 1 also in the case of the expansion panel is closed so I'm going to put in the height is 0 pixel and the opacity is also 0 also adding the adding the transition animation property so instead of that we have to put the expression so in the case we are going to open when the expansion panel is moves from open to close state then I'm going to put in the animation is 0.2 second easy out also in, in the case in the situation if the expansion panel is moves from close to open so in that situation animation is two second easy in okay <coughs> and go to in template file create here one division and add a couple of classes for it the margin is two the border border would be border blue 200 rounded is small also the shadow is small and here I'm adding for the header section for expansion panel so division and adding here for the couple of classes like padding is 2 and by default it's flex and instead of that I'm going to adding the one button and four button also I'm going to adding the couple of classes busy background is blue 400 and the text is white 
rounded small and the another one du instead of that I'm going to adding the couple of classes the margin is stopped and margin left left is to and inside of that I'm going to projecting the content okay and inside of that uh, I'm going to select the directory name which is the expansion header so this is a directory selector so whatever the we are going to passing the as a header from the parent or parent component so this is going to be rendered inside here like the or if you want to put the header for the expansion panel also for the content so here I'm going to creating one division and then adding the couple of classes border border top blue 200 and inside of that I'm going to using the ng content so this is the default whatever the content we are going to passing from the parent component so this is going to be rendered here okay so inside the ts file add here the one property which is the expanded the expanded has the two types is open or it could be close so in default case I'm going to putting as a close state okay and whenever the user is click on that button so I'm going to firing this method set expanded copy this method name and go to NTS file and add here so I'm going to here the expanded value this is actually uh, this dot expanded equal to equal to close then I'm going to passing the open otherwise it's going to be close copy this variable name and pass here also the, the the animation name here we can see we are using here the expand so we have to add this animation property to this uh, content and to that expand equal to expanded so now it's time to you see how it's going to look so inside the uh, amp dot component I'm going to accessing this expansion panel and creating here the one division and the h2 header test so this is going to be render as the header if you if we add the expansion header directory for it also before the contain I'm going to adding couple of couple of paragraph and save open in browser so let's see how it looks so you can see this this expansion panel is looking like this so you can see it's it looks like this and also the, for the button I'm going to adding the couple of classes adding two okay now it's look good so this is a sample expansion panel to you know the how to create it also we can create more you know more 
multiple expansion panel using the MG four. So here you can see which one is working. So this is a simple step guys how to get expansion panel. If you like this video then subscribe to my channel. Bye.